Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you? How is fasting? Allah will count it as an act of ibadah. And don't forget to always engage in salat as well. As you all know how important salat is. It is compulsory for all Muslims to pray five times daily. So, my dear puppies, as you are fasting, make sure you also engage in salat. Allah will accept it as an act of ibadah. Allah Mahami. Today is 11.05.2020, which is equivalent to 15th Ramadan, 14.41 AH. Inshallah, this week, we are going to deal with square and square root of numbers. But today, we are going to concentrate on square of number. Now, square of, I would like to start with the meaning of square of number. Square of number is the product of a number multiplied by itself. So that is the definition of square of number. That means, Alhamdulillah, you all understand what product means in mathematics. It is multiplication. So that means if you are given any number, you are to multiply that number by itself. So that will give you the square of that number. So I believe the definition is clear to you now. The product of a number multiplied by itself. Now let us now look into some examples by using different numbers. Examples now. Find the square of A, 5, B, 7, C, 8, Y, D, 9. So let us take them one by one. The first number is 5. So we are going to follow the, the definition in order to solve the first number, which is 5. So you will multiply that 5 by itself. That will give you 25. That is 5 times 5 is equivalent to 25. And B is 7. You multiply 7 by itself. That is 7 times 7 is equal to 49. So let us move to the next one now, which is 8. So we multiply 8 by itself by saying 8 times 8, which is, which is equal to 64. Why the last one is 9? Multiply 9 by itself, you are going to have 81. So you don't need to stress yourself. Concerning the square of number, it's very, very simple. Provided you follow the definition that is given to you. So once again, the definition is the product of a number multiplied by itself. So that is this, that is the definition of square of number. So once any number is given to you, you are to multiply that number by itself. So you are going to half the what? The square of that number. So let us evaluate ourselves. Now, evaluation. Find the square of A, the first one, which is 4. 
So by following the, the definition, you will have 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. B is 6. So you are going to multiply 6 by itself. That is 6 times 6, which is equal, which is equal to 36. Why the next one is 11? So you multiply 11 by itself, you are going to have 11 times 11, which is equal to 121. So the last one, which is D, 12. You are going to multiply 12 by 12, which is going to give you 144. My dear puppies, I hope you are enjoying the lecture. So the topic is very, very simple and straightforward, provided you follow the definition that is given to you. May Almighty Allah be with us and guide us aright. So you can pick another number of hand. Any number that you pick, just multiply it by itself. If you pick, let's say, two now, you just multiply that two by itself, two times two, which is going to give you four. It made the square of two, when you are asked to find the square of two, it's going to give you four. So inshallah, the own work will be sent to you. Once again, Ramadan Kareem, my regards to your parents. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.